my name is Ruth Bromley. I'm a GP in Withenshaw in South Manchester and I'm also the chair of Manchester Clinical Commissioning Group. We're the organisation in Manchester that's responsible for providing health and social care services across the city and it really matters to us that we provide good quality um, and safe services um, for our citizens in the city. In 2017, we formed a partnership with our colleagues at Manchester City Council and we meet each month as a board to oversee the work of both health and social care in the city. We also work very closely with other partners across the city and through the last year that's been more important than ever. We work very closely with partners from education, housing, um, our partners in the voluntary sector, the arts and many other parts of society in the city um, and it's because of this that we can create um, the services that we do for um, the people that we are um, responsible for looking after. As a statutory body we have to re um, provide a report for you every year. We're making this film to make it easier for you to learn about what we're doing but we do also have a very detailed report which you'll be able to access on our website. So far 2020 has been a year like no other. The impact of COVID-19 has been felt within families and communities across the city as hundreds have become infected and sadly many people have lost their lives. Nothing I can say will remove the pain and suffering that people have experienced but I can promise that everyone here at Manchester Health and Care Commissioning has been and will continue to do everything within their power to keep people safe and provide the services that we need at this time. I've always been extremely proud to work for the NHS but this has been such a difficult year for so many people. Our colleagues on the front line have been managing their own personal lives as well as putting themselves at risk every day to see patients and um, the people that they care for. I think it's really important that I take this opportunity to thank everybody who has been part of our city's efforts um, throughout this very, very difficult period. Our medical director, Dr Manisha Kumar, will talk a little bit more about the work of our general practices in the city later on in this video. But for now, I'm going to hand over to our Chief Accountable Officer, Ian Williamson, to tell you more about the work we've been doing. Hello, I'm Ian Williamson, Chief Accountable Officer of Manchester Health and Care Commissioning. I'm going to talk to you about what we've achieved in the last year, and I've been asked to do this as quickly as possible in less than 60 seconds if I can. We have seen a reduction in smoking prevalence in Manchester down from 22% in 2017 to 17.2% in 2018, which represents a reduction in the number of people smoking from 93,365 to 73,027. The under 18 conception rate has gone down from 23.5 per 1,000 females in 2017 to 22.4 in 2018. A partnership formed with Manchester Growth Company resulting in 54 positions being offered to people who had been classed as long-term unemployed. Our work with local GP practices has led to a 15.1% increase in the paediatric asthma reviews completed, an increase of 13.5% in adult asthma reviews completed, 8,545 patients having their blood pressure checked and optimised to reduce their risk of heart attack and stroke, a 17% increase in diabetes 8 care process completed, a nationally recognised standard for diabetes care, a 14.7% increase in learning disability health checks completed, and 4,543 patients having a cardiovascular disease risk assessment completed. In addition to core health services, we have invested £2.1 million in voluntary community and social enterprise sector grant scheme to support the delivery of the population health plan. A £300,000 grant programme for young people delivered in partnership with Young Manchester. A £700,000 fund to support voluntary community and social enterprise organisations providing non-clinical interventions to improve people's health and wellbeing. A crisis response service in South Manchester over a 25% increase in referrals for psychological therapies. 24 GP surgeries across the city have completed the Safer Surgeries Quality Mark, showcasing how as a city we aim for inclusive access to primary care. 14 primary care networks established across the neighbourhoods of Manchester. Investment in assistive technology to help people be more independent and take greater control of their care. The Manchester Poverty Truth Commission and a range of health improvement programmes such as our Winning Hearts and Minds programme. Despite all these successes, 
we know that also there are areas where we need to improve. For example, before COVID, too often people were waiting a long time for hospital assessment, treatment and care. Since COVID started, some of those waiting times have got worse. But I need to assure you that we are doing everything we can with our hospital and other provider partners to get through our waiting lists and to ensure that people receive care as quickly and effectively as possible. And in particular, we need to make sure that some of the inequalities that were becoming even more clear during COVID are reduced, if at all possible. Now I'm going to pass over to Claire Yarwood, who's going to talk to you about our financial situation and particularly how we spent our money effectively, efficiently and appropriately. Claire is our Chief Financial Officer. In 2018-19, we received just over £1.2 billion worth of government funding for health services in Manchester. This is to pay for treatments, procedures and medicines, including care in hospitals, care of people with mental health needs or learning disabilities, medicines and equipment, GP services, community services like our district nurses, nursing care out of hospital and running our organisation. We have set a number of tests by the Department of Health and Social Care to make sure we are managing our funding appropriately. We have successfully met all of these tests this year, which shows that we don't spend more than we have. We invest as much as we can for local people. We minimise the amount spent on costs to run our organisation and we pay our invoices promptly. Obviously, over the last few months, we've concentrated all of our efforts in fighting the COVID-19 pandemic. Dr. Manisha Kumar will now spend a little bit of time telling you about the sorts of things we have done with the local GPs. Hello, my name is Manisha Kumar. I'm a GP in Rush Home and Medical Director of Manchester Health and Care Commissioning. Since COVID-19 arrived in our city, our 85 practices have seen an unprecedented level of pressure being placed on their services. They have worked tirelessly to ensure that they continue to meet the needs of their patients, in particular their most vulnerable, whilst ensuring that their staff stay well and that they can work in a safe way. As Commissioners of Primary Care in Manchester, the teams here have worked hand in hand with local practices to support the work which has included providing the kit and the support for practices to provide online and video consultations, advice and support on the right medicines for patients in all settings, GPs providing direct support to care homes across the city, advice and support for practices on how to assess and treat people with COVID-19, the creation of hubs across the city which can safely see people with COVID-19, making sure practices have sufficient PPE to see patients when needed, Ensuring GP practice staff who are more likely to be seriously affected if they catch COVID-19 are identified and supported to work safely. Keeping GP practices and their patients up to date on how they can protect themselves and others from becoming ill. Planning for the forthcoming flu vaccination programme. On behalf of MHCC, I'd like to say a massive thank you to all those who work within and who support our health and care services for all the work you've done to protect the city during these really difficult times. So there it is, our film about everything that we've been doing over the last year or so. We really do like it when you get in touch, so please do contact us. We'll be sharing our details at the end of the film. And whatever you're doing, please do stay safe and well.